Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg is in a legal battle and wants to clear things up. Now, it has to do with pieces of land on the north shore of Kauai. And that's the land that falls within the 700 acres, a big parcel that he owns. And he's filed a lawsuit over the parcels which were passed down to native Hawaiians through families, but with no record of who owns it. The lawsuit has sparked a lot of backlash with critics saying that Zuckerberg is forcing Hawaiians off their land. Well, today Zuckerberg released a statement saying, we are working with a Hawaiian studies professor who's participating in this quiet title process. It's important that we respect Hawaiian history and traditions. Elisa Revelo goes beyond the headlines tonight and tells you how a state lawmaker is getting involved. Elisa. Howard and Marissa, I'm told Zuckerberg is doing everything by the book, but that it can still put a financial burden on the families who have a stake in these parcels of land. I spoke with Representative Kaneela Ng, who tells me he's helping to draft a bill to keep Hawaiian land in Hawaiian hands. They end up spending more on legal fees than they actually get in return. You know, imagine if you're one of these family members and you have the sixth richest person in the world with literally the world's best team of lawyers saying, sending you a letter saying, hey, we're going to um, buy this. Can you strike a deal with us? You're not going to strike a deal without lawyering up yourself. Racking up hundreds or thousands in legal fees is what Representative Ng is hoping to avoid for Native Hawaiians who have a stake in Kuleana lands. He's planning to propose a bill in response to the Zuckerberg headlines. It's in the very early stages, but Ng is hoping to make the legal process easier for Native Hawaiians. But it's not Hawaii style to initiate conversation through a lawsuit. Um, you know, we're used to going next door and knocking on the door and saying, hey, um, you know, let's hold up on a point and talk about this. You would have to establish a trust and then enter mediation and then we can commence with any lawsuit. After so many years of passing down land, Ng says many parcels could be down to inches, but he says it's still worth fighting for. Uh, so we want to do whatever we can through the state to um, give these families a chance to hold on to what has always been in their family lines. Representative Ng tells me he's working with the Native Hawaiian Legal Council. I reached out to them today while working on the story and was told the attorneys were in a strategic planning meeting about this bill. We'll follow this bill as it goes through the session and for, for you and let you know what happens. Elisa Revelo, KHON2 News.